welcome friends to another video in this uh, video i'll be talking about how to install kibana on uh, that one centos os 7 plus so in the previous video that i have uh, already shown how to uh, install elastic shirt similar way we'll be just using um, you know the centos os so elastic shirt that is like um, it, it has three layers lock stas then Elastic is the database and Kibana is the data visualization wave framework where you can customize a dashboard and see. As it says, the acronym says ELK means Elastic Logstash and Kibana. Elastic is search engine, Logstash is a server side data processing unit, and um, Kibana that, that like uh, helps you visualize, visualizing your data in, in, in terms of uh, charts and uh, tables and other sort of and uh, yeah as you can see how the cartoon says kibana then logstats then you look at how they are stacking with each other okay i think um, yeah so there is uh, we'll go to the kibana uh, like uh, page where to download it this is the page uh, it is showing like how to um, if you download and install it how uh, how it will look like what are the features like it has um, graphs, pie charts, uh, so many other charts and also tabular data form. You can just uh, view the data in tabular form. And um, geo-specific uh, log analysis, like location-specific analysis, time series-based data, just like um, you know, Grafana and all the things are too. It has very interesting thing like machine learning. So it can detect the anomalies that is hidden inside your Elasticsearch data and graphs and networks that you can visualize in a very you know other tree format and also this is the GUI that you will uh, see in future uh, once we go through and you can drag and drop any field out of uh, like the JSON format or this is unstructured data any field that you can select and drag and drop and visualize it on the fly on the browser itself so it's like ready to plug and play um, um, web framework okay let's go to the installation process so we'll be directly installing with the help of rpm package like you can do this way from the repository you can create atc yum repository or the once you edit, edit that repo you can just do a, provided you should have a, a sudo access or a root user so we'll just do the um, manual installation because your must uh, if we do the way it might uh, have some issue like it might download some other version so we'll just be specific we'll just download the correct uh, version manually so there you go i have just checked this is not installed any of the thing was not installed i am installed something like that i'll just create a directory called downloads where i will be downloading everything over there so by the help of wget i am downloading the particular uh, you know specific rpm that have already installed the elastic search like the same rpm so i am just installing the same one yeah the size is pretty small so let's uh, do a checksum whether it is uh, perfectly fine or it is, is there any corruption in the file or not no it's okay then you you can just do a sudo in a, like uh, i am already a root user so i am just do rpm Hyphen install Kibana, it is doing silently in the background. If you want to see the output, you can just do rpm hyphen i v for word boost and h, and uh, you can just see and uh, then pass that rpm. Then you can see the whatever is happening uh, in the front end, it will just show you in the progress also along with the progress. This is a percentage that we have already seen in another video. Okay, okay, there you go. It has installed it, it has created a Kibana user and group. There you go, that it's got installed. You want to change it? Okay, RPM hyphen query QA then pipe grep Kibana will help you to find the perfect RPM. Okay, this is the proper RPM that we wanted to install. It's installed properly. Now we'll go to the service part. It's installed. We'll try to come in um, re uh, like restart the service with the default configuration, or maybe let's change the configuration with the uh, minimal at least the host name and other uh, stuffs or paths related thing that we'd like to change then you can change it okay it says like service kibana start you can do it let's try that or 
you can use um, a system control or daemon reload that kind of uh, a command that you can use okay and command with uh, okay well, if you want to add that automatic rebooting time if the system is getting reboot it will just add that uh, configuration so that kibana will start automatically during any it shutdown or it maintenance that process will start automatically okay now the process has been started let's try that um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with the host name colon 5601 it is taking so much of time i think it's not ready yet i think i might have missed something Kibana is running fine, but uh, I did uh, something wrong in the configuration, I believe. That's why it is not responding. Other port is blocked. Am I correct? Mm, not sure. Okay, let's, let's try to revisit uh, the configuration that I skipped. I thought it would, it would work, but it is not. Okay, VI, where is the configuration file? Do you remember? Or have you any have anyone checked in the website while I, I was browsing? No. I think the I think it is uh, there as uh, etc kibana kibana dot yml. Okay, this is the file. Okay, this is the default file. Then I have modified it with my changes. Let's do a vim diff and find out uh, side by side comparison. What are the things that I have changed uh, before? Uh, and I'm trying this thing okay yeah uh, config do you want me to do a vim diff or cp directly copy no I want to do a vim diff that's better because you cannot blindly copy any configurations okay they will yuck the color scheme is not that good red is I cannot read and I'm sorry no one can also read uh, okay these are the lines that i have changed uh, it's not readable let's go to the let's copy first and then i will just show you which are the lines that i have changed it okay change it let's open it i think yes the server host definitely you need to change it instead of if you want to try it other than any server because localhost only you can access by going to that machine in that machine only you can access you cannot access from outside machines okay elastic search username is kibana and I, this is a default pass username password for your reference i'm going to change it so you cannot hack it there you go it's a hack proof hmm okay and service kibana status status restart it or stop or is that there you go after doing that it should um, able to i think we should able to see the um, landing page like the default um, web page but we, we will not be covering the um, web page in this video so we'll be covering it is in the subsequent videos so that we can um, create um, nice dashboards and uh, we'll see how to use other uh, sort of um, tools that ELK stacks provides. So we'll see the what is the beauty of ELK stack in subsequent videos. Okay, I think there you go. And there is you can access it. This is the log file. This is the anomaly. That is the machine learning anomalies that I was talking about. Categories like log, file stack, file beats. Okay, this is the cat and log stacks any file that related that you can just um, configure it here so that you can see any kind of logs uh, in the logs section okay let's um, I think for a quick uh, visualization we'll just um, um, add any default log files I have not added anything add a sample log file that already there sample log files is there okay there are three okay it's a web log file I think it has captured some web uh, Apache or some other web server log files like access error or that sort of uh, web logs. So that log file it can process, parse it from that data and it can give you a nice dashboard with predefined. Um, okay, this is the dashboard uh, name. You need to select that. Once you select the dashboard, it will just uh, show you the predefined um, uh, you know, panels with. Um, different varieties of uh, informations there you go there are so many informations you have pie chart uh, that is like uh, other uh, 
that okay stay tuned thanks for watching stay tuned uh, for upcoming elk elk stack uh, videos thanks thanks for your time